HP2 brings a heightened awareness about who we are as an organization and how we interact with one another. Uh, they were able to bring about um, uh, uh, an openness and candidness uh, within the organization that created a culture of trust within our organization that did not necessarily exist before. It's really about people discovering that they're all right, and then they give you uh, different distinctions, different principles on how to live a full and rich life and practice those principles uh, on a daily basis. I find that the practices I've learned starting 10 years ago with the Human Potential Project, uh, specifically the somatic practices, have been most useful for me in both my professional and personal life. I really found some life-altering concepts that I, I find that I practice and I use not only in the work environment, but I, I use in, in the way I operate at home or in my personal life. I've really been uh, impacted by um, the whole process of centering and understanding what it means to, to be centered and to stay centered and to go off center and come back to center. The ability for people uh, to uh, work with one another, to build a culture within an organization is what HP2 is all about. And if there are organizations out there that are struggling with trying to uh, identify uh, their identity or create their identity within an organization, HP2 would be an excellent partner. And in, pro in doing that program, it was quite extraordinary. What I discovered was is, is that when I could start to trust myself to do what was being asked and not being afraid of making a mistake or doing it wrong, all of a sudden my life changed. Uh, I'm a somatic learner. I learn best by doing. And so when I was introduced to the somatic practices, everything clicked in and I was really able to notice a, a dramatic shift in my ability to interact with others around me and also um, stay in a much more present state. All of his coaches were co extremely professional and really had an ability to lead and coach everyone within the organization. We found that really was a great opportunity and a great experience and the team of the Human Potential Project were great to work with. What I'm seeing is uh, amongst other advantages of, of going through the program is our meetings are more effective, uh, they're more focused. Um, uh, the ability to uh, to make commitments and to hold people accountable to commitments is something that's better understood now and how to do that. And I just see a more effective organization going forward. I also feel that the that the, the mood of the organization is more generative today. And, and I believe that those who have gone through the program are exhibiting that to others. And I think others are uh, creating the right type of environment in which others in the company want to be involved in the HP2 program going forward. It's helped define the person I am today. I'm not sure I would be sitting here with the mindset that I have today if I hadn't been through the program. If someone asked me if, you, if I would recommend the Human Potential Project programs, my answer would be absolutely. So this has really impacted things for me professionally where I'm much more engaged, much more curious, much more um, enjoying my interactions with clients. I would recommend HP2 to any company that is looking for a way that they can create a common culture within their organization. I would recommend HP2 to any company that wanted to create an environment in which their employees collaborate more and truly manage their business on a performance or commitment-based style or culture. And I would recommend HP2 to any company that wanted to better interact with their customers in establishing commitments and making and beating their promises. In thinking about this, if I were to be talking to other CFOs about HP2, uh, I'd say a couple things. Um, I'd first of all talk about uh, just the overall, uh, make the investment and see the difference and, and give the opportunity to see how your colleagues um, are really responding well. Life has a different richness to it for me. It's, you, I found myself getting in touch with my contribution uh, that I found that I could make to other people just by being with them. So if you're wondering if you should do it, the, uh, my answer would be yes, do it. You can always say no at the end, but I never said no after it. So enjoy the process. Um, the practices of HP2 have been by far so much more um, sustainable and relevant than any other 
any other methodologies I've ever used in any of the trainings I've done. We had so much more out of the program, even over and above what was committed. We actually learned to appreciate one another. We actually learned something both personally and professionally as individuals within the program. And I think everyone that participated truly believes that it was a gift that they can take away and change their lives for the rest of their life. So it really was a very powerful and impactful program. I'm talking to you today because you're either a senior level executive or a successful serial entrepreneur. Now I know what it takes because I've been there. I've started my own company, I've advised people who run big companies, and I know what it takes in terms of the hard work, the effort, the time, the dedication, and ultimately, the price that you pay for the level of success that you've had. Now here's what's so. The level of success that you've had to date is a direct result of the way you think and the behaviors that you exhibit. Now what's going on for most of you is you get to a certain level of success and on the outside, everything looks great, but on the inside, not so much. There's this kind of gnawing feeling that there's more. Not just more stuff, that part's easy, but more satisfaction, more fulfillment, more of the richness that seems to have been missed in that climb to get successful in the first place. You know it's there, you can feel it, you know it. Your intuitive sense tells you it's all possible, but you just don't know quite how to reach it. So to make the kind of changes that it's going to take to enhance your level of success and performance, and not just at work, but your level of success with your family and your community, if it, what got you there was your current mindset and behaviors, then, not surprising, we've got to change your mindset and behaviors, enhance your mindset and behaviors, so you can take new effective actions in the world. That's what our work is all about. I'm Chris Major, and I'm the founder of the Human Potential Project. For 30 years, we've been working with elite performers in the world of sports, military, and business to help them have the lives that they always dreamed about. We don't have magic pills, but we do have 30 years of success that says we can do it. Now, what I'm up to today in talking to you is I'm looking to have some one-on-one -on -one conversations with people to see what it is that's really holding you back and how my team and I might be able to help you get to the next level of success. So if you're interested in learning how a whole new future could open up for you, all you have to do is click the button below, fill out the questionnaire so I understand a little bit more about what's going on with you, and we will get an appointment scheduled to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Don't hesitate. Don't talk yourself out of it. Just go for it. You've got nothing to lose, and I promise you it'll be time well spent. Thanks.